when I have heard that there was this uh, anniversary, uh, 100 years, I thought we have to, we have to, to record his, his uh, sonatas, and uh, he, he was planning to, he was planning to write six sonatas. He only wrote three: uh, one for cello, one for violin, and one for flute, harp, and viola. He's, uh, he's central in the French music, not only because he wrote La Mer and some amazing pieces, but um, because he has his own language. He has his own, you can recognize Debussy after three seconds. We decided to, to build this, uh, this team and, uh, with wonderful musicians, Edgar and, and Bertrand, and uh, Gérard Cossé, and uh, Marie-Pierre Langlamet, and Emmanuel Payu for the, for the trio. And, um, I'm very excited because, uh, as we did for Forêt and as we did for Ravel, now we have a Debussy uh, old French team uh, with a stamp French quality. For me, Debussy is one of the most incredible French composers and um, his music is always um, something really rich and uh, especially for, for, for cello, you know, you can, you can, in in, in the trio, for example, or in the, in the sonata, you can really, really uh, uh, explore and, uh, and search a lot of different colors. Um, and that's really special about his music. Really something totally unpredictable in his music. All the time, you can never find a way to catch him in a way. It's like uh, always moving and you think you have uh, understood what is Debussy style, but then he goes in a d different direction. I discovered the piano trio when I was very young and I played it actually 20 years ago in the conservatoire. I remember I discovered this piece, nobody knew it was existing. And still today, if you speak to most of the artists, people say, what, Debussy wrote a trio, what, when? In fact, it's a very early piece. He wrote uh, when he was very young, I think 18 or something. It's beautiful, it's romantic. It's of course not exactly the Debussy which is going to be later. I love also this first WC which has already a kind of warm color, color and what, what you can feel already, he was only 18 when he composed this trio, is this kind of really sensual way of making music. There is always something very warm and sensual about, uh, about uh, Debussy's music. It's quite an um, important piece, it's almost 30 minutes, four movements, and uh, it was a joy to, to play with these two because I play a lot with Edgar Moreau, he's an amazingly gifted cellist, and, and Bertrand has his French touché you know, on the piano, which is really wonderful. I'm very, very happy that, that it is together with the three sonatas. Uh, I think it's the first time it is done this way. It was recorded, but never with the three sonatas. And um, I hope this trio will have more plays than in the trio repertoire, because we have a wonderful Ravel trio, we have a wonderful Forêt trio, and I think we have a wonderful Debussy trio. The Debussy sonata actually was, um, it's a piece that I played since I, I'm really young because it's really a, a big part of the, of the cello repertoire. Each different uh, time in your life you play this piece, you, you can have a, a different uh, approach and a different uh, way to, to understand the music and to, and to play it, you know. And, um, and with Bertrand we found a lot of different things and it was really um, you know, in the BUC music in general, it's no limit. You can really search and search again. Well, this piece is very special. Um, also because my teacher, one of my teachers, Gérard Poulet, um, was a son of Gaston Poulet, for whom the sonata was played, uh, was uh, composed. And Gaston Poulet played the premiere of the BUC sonata with the BUC on the piano. So it's quite special. You can really recognize uh, Debussy uh, style, as I said before, in a very short moment. And also, uh, every movement is like six minutes. And it's amazing the amount of things he says in this very short moment. It's like when you, 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 you take so something like that and you reduce, reduce, reduce to, to some point which is exactly the perfect. For me, it's, it's like the perfect adjective for those sonatas, it's actually perfect. <laughs>